We also had in the last week, Chris Hedges posted an article via Truthdig titled Chelsea Manning and the New Inquisition. And he writes, quote, the US government determined to, extra, uh, determined to extradite and try Julian Assange for espionage must find a way to separate what Assange and WikiLeaks, what WikiLeaks did in publishing classified material leaked to them by Chelsea Manning from what the New York Times and the Washington Post did in publishing the same material. There is no federal law that prohibits the press from publishing government secrets. It is a crime, however, to steal them. The long, the long persecution of Manning, who on March 8 was sent back to jail for refusing to testify before a grand jury is about this issue. Uh, Hedges continues saying, if Manning, a former army private, admits she was instructed by WikiLeaks and Assange in how to obtain and pass on the leaked material, which exposed US war crimes in Afghanistan and Iraq, the publisher could be tried for the theft of classified documents. The prosecution of government whistleblowers was accelerated during the Obama administration, which under the Espionage Act charged eight people with leaking to the media, Thomas Drake, Shamai Leibowitz, Stephen Kim, Manning, Donald uh, Shatlebin, Jer Jeffrey Sterling, John Kiriakou, and Edward Snowden. By the time Donald Trump took office, the vital connection between investigative reporters and sources inside the government had been severed. Manning, who worked as an army intelligence analyst in Iraq in 2009, provided WikiLeaks with over 500,000 documents copied from military and government archives, including the collateral murder video footage of an army helicopter gun gunning down a group of unarmed civilians that included two Reuters journalists. She was arrested in 2010 and found guilty in 2013. The campaign to criminalize whistleblowing has by default left the exposure of government lies, fraud and crimes to those who have the skills or access as Manning and Edward Snowden did needed to hack into or otherwise obtain government electronic documents. This is why hackers and those who publish their materials, such as Assange and WikiLeaks, are being relentlessly persecuted. The goal of the corporate state is to shroud in total secrecy the inner workings of power, especially those activities that violate the law. Movement towards this goal is very far advanced. The failure of news organizations such as the New York Times and the Washington Post to vigorously defend Manning and Assange will soon come back to haunt them. The corporate state hardly intends to stop with Manning and Assange. The target is the press itself. Hedges continues, writing, if we actually had a functioning judicial system and an independent press, Manning would have been a witness for the prosecution against the war criminals he helped expose. I wrote, uh, uh, Hedges wrote after he and Cornell West attended Manning's sentencing in 2013 at Ford, Fort Meade, Maryland. He would not have been headed, bound and shackled to the military prison at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. His testimony would have ensured that those who waged war, illegal war, tortured and lied to the public, monitored electronic communications and ordered the gunning down of un unarmed citizens in Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan and Yemen were sent to Fort Leavenworth's cells. If we had a functioning judiciary that hundreds of papers, uh, rapes and murders Manning made public would be investigated. The officials and generals who lied to us when they said they did not keep a record of civilian dead would be held to account for the 109,032 violent deaths in Iraq, including those of 66,081 civilians. The pilots in the collateral murder video, which showed the helicopter attack on unarmed civilians in Baghdad that left nine dead, including those two Reuters journalists, would be court-martialed. And Hedges goes on saying Manning has always insisted her leak of the classified documents and videos uh, was prompted solely by her own conscience. She has refused to implicate Assange and WikiLeaks. Earlier this month, although, the, although President Barack Obama in 2010 commuted her 35 year sentence after she served seven years, uh, was jailed again for refusing to answer questions before a secret grand jury investigating Assange and WikiLeaks. While incarcerated previously, Manning endured long periods in solitary confinement and torture. She attempt, twice attempted to commit suicide in prison. She knows from painful experience the myriad ways the system can break you psychologically and physically. And yet she has steadfastly refused to give false testimony in court on behalf of the government. Her moral probity and courage are perhaps the last thin line of defense for WikiLeaks and for its publisher, whose health is deteriorating in the Ecuadorian embassy in London, where he's been holed up since 2012. Manning, who was known as Bradley Manning in the army, has undergone gender reassignment surgery and needs frequent medical monitoring. 
Judge Claude M. Hilton, however, dismissed a request by her lawyers for house arrest. Manning was granted immunity by prosecutors in the Eastern District of Virginia, and because she had immunity, she was unable to invoke the Fifth Amendment protection against uh, self-incrimination or to have her attorney present. The judge found her in contempt of court and sent her to a federal facility in Alexandria, Virginia, uh, who, uh, and Hilton, who has long been a handmaiden of the military and intelligence organs, has vowed to hold her there until she agrees to testify or until the grand jury is disbanded, which could mean 18 months or longer behind bars. Manning said any questioning of her by the grand jury is a violation of her fourth uh, first, Fourth, and Sixth Amendment rights. She said she will not cooperate with the grand jury. And she said, quote, all of the substantive questions pertaining to, uh, pertained to my disclosures of information to the public in 2010, answers I provided in extensive testimony during my court martial in 2013. And she said this on March 7, the day before she was jailed. She continued saying, I will not comply with this or any other grand jury um, in a later uh, statement issued from jail saying, quote, uh, imprisoning uh, me for my refusal to answer questions only, sub on, uh, only subject to, subjects me to additional punishment for my repeatedly stated ethical objections to the grand jury system. The grand jury's questions uh, pertained to disclosures from nine years ago that took place six years after an in-depth computer forensics case in which I testified for almost a full day about these events, she went on. I stand by my previous public testimony. Manning reiterated that she will not participate in this secret process that she morally reject, objects to, particularly one that has been historically used to entrap and persecute activists for protected political speech. Um, Hedges continues saying that what is taking place is a series of incremental steps to des uh, designed to strangle the press and cement into place an American version of China's totalitarian capitalism President Trump has often proclaimed his deep animus for news outlets such as the New York Times and the Washington Post, referring to them as, quote, the enemy of the people. Any legal tools given to the administration to shut down these news outlets or at least hollow them of content will be used eagerly by the president. The prosecutions of government whistleblowers under the Espionage Act, warrantless wiretapping, monitoring of the communications of Americans and the persecution of Manning and Assange are parts of the interconnected process of preventing any of us from peering at the machinery of state. The resulting secrecy is vital for totalitarian systems. The global elites, their ruling ideology of neoliberalism exposed as a con, have had enough of us examining and questioning their abuses, pillage, and crimes. The internet, our greatest tool of emancipation, Assange writes, has been transformed into the most dangerous facilitator of totalitarianism we have ever seen. That is where we are headed. Uh, Hedges concludes, a few resist, Ma Assange and Manning are two. Those who stand by passively as they are persecuted will be next. And that's the end of the article from Truth Dig by Chris Hedges, Pulitzer Prize winning journalist.